Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Dingle, PhD, uh, author of 17 books on health and wellness, including The Great Cholesterol Deception and How to Reverse Heart Attacks, Strokes and Other Heart Conditions Without Drugs. And I'm passionate about educating people about what they can actually do to look after their own health. And the fact that, you know, we've been sold a lot of lies when it comes to pharmaceuticals and their benefits and so on. But I won't go into that yet. The first thing I want to talk about, because people have said, can you explain cholesterol, Pete? Well, I want to start off, and I'm going to do a half a dozen of these. And I want to start off by just saying that cholesterol was born out of a, a myth. Uh, a statistical, um, what would you say, whitewash. And in fact, what happened in the 1950s, a guy called Ensel Keys, one of the most pro predominant, preeminent uh, epidemiologists, so he looked at populations and so on, he got together a group of um, researchers and he pulled all of the information together in the 1950s and looked at it. Now, I'm going to show you what he did, okay? So really, really simply, here's a graph. This one is cholesterol and fat, and this one is heart attack, okay? So what he did was he got 22 countries together, and these 22 countries, they came up on the graph everywhere, absolutely everywhere, and he looked and he goes, hold on, that's not telling me much, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of those countries off, and I'm just going to leave the ones that fit into this nice tight line. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there was a seventh. Seven countries. So oh, this is why I called a statistical whitewash, because they looked at that and said, hold on, that's a straight line. It's a straight line. And in science, a straight line means there's a good correlation, not cause and effect, but an association between them. And so with these seven, he said, okay, that's, that's fine. And everyone started to say, well, high fat, high cholesterol, heart attacks. But then they put in one more country, and it was France. And France had high, France goes up there somewhere, high cholesterol, high fat, and really low heart attack rates. So they said, oh, it must be the red wine. They put in Belgium. Belgium was somewhere up here too. And Belgium, high cholesterol, high fat, uh, low heart attack rate. Duh, all of a sudden, this one line up here is falling apart. But this was after it was published and everyone around the world and of course the drug companies started promoting it. And then of course they put in another company, Switzerland, and Switzerland, well it must be their cheese because they've got high fat, high cholesterol and low heart attack rate too, so the Swiss go in there. So the whole thing is that this was a whitewash and when they put in all the other studies like that, there is no line. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down, which makes a whole joke of this cholesterol. So then what happened? They said, hold on, we, we, we now know that cholesterol is not the problem. Uh, yeah, I know it's in the arteries, and I'll get on to explain to that to you, all about that later on. But, uh, okay, so we know, we know cholesterol, is, so let's come up with something else. And they actually came up with the low-density lipoprotein, which is a, a carrier for cholesterol, LDL. And your doctors will say that, and you know, medical people will tell, oh, LDL, that was a problem. Well, then they realised about 20 years ago that LDL wasn't associated with heart attacks and stroke as well, LDL cholesterol. And so they did the VLDL, so very low-density lipoprotein. Okay, so they keep changing. This is a chameleon. All of a sudden you got one thing, then it changes. Now, in science, what happens is when you've got a theory, when you've got a theory and it doesn't fit, you chuck the theory out. In medicine, to do with these drugs, what it is, is if they've got a theory, they fit everything into this theory and they mold it around the exact opposite of science. So they finally realized that it's not the very low density lipoprotein, the VLDL, and then they now realize that it's the oxidized cholesterol, the oxidized VLDL. Now, they're on the right track here for the first time, but it's not the cholesterol, it's not the LDL cholesterol, it's not the VLDL cholesterol, it's the oxidized cholesterol. So the oxidized cholesterol is the problem, but it's not the cholesterol, it's the oxidation process. It's, it's like saying that, well, hold on, the, 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 the fire over there is, a, is, is an issue, but let's, let's blame, the, let's blame the, uh, the fire extinguishers and so on, because they're, they're there when the fire's going. My simple message here is cholesterol is a myth. 
I have, I have written two books on it, as I said earlier, Great Cholesterol Deception, which explains all of this and so much more. And on the opposite side, what you need to do to actually heal your heart and your arteries and your cardiovascular system, reversing heart disease without drugs. Now, the science on this is very clear. I've read over a thousand studies to do with cholesterol and a couple of thousand when it comes to cardiovascular disease. It's very, very simple. I'm a researcher. I have time every day and I do this. So I hope you've got something out of this and over the next week or so, I'm gonna be putting up more video blogs. Now please, if you, if you like this and if you've got some friends, and I know you probably do, share it with people because we spend over a billion dollars a year just through the Pharmaceutical Benefit Scheme in Australia supporting statin medication to lower cholesterol. And I'll show you why lowering cholesterol has no benefit whatsoever in one of the other video blogs. So stay tuned, share this with people, and let's get a, a health message going out there. Thank you.